Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Joan Readings. This reading will be for my Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn for the week of June 24th, 2019. Happy, happy summer solstice, y'all. Summertime. Hey, let's get it. Happy birthday, Cancers, as well. Um, so last week, the message for y'all was to control your emotions so that it wouldn't mess with y'all money. <laughs> Keep your emo emotions in check so you can get a check type situation. So we will see what the cards have to say this week. All right. So what are the major themes for my earth signs for the week of June 24, 2019, please? Entering, ooh, white. Two circles, pine. First of all, angel number 12. Look that up, earth signs, and see if that resonates with you. Okay, so the first card that y'all got is one wine entering. Barriers being lifted. Walking through new doors, of course, yes. Um, New life. Some of y'all, you got a new attitude. I got a new attitude. Right. Um, maybe be a little timid about the, a lot of newness, right, uh, that you are encountering, that you are claiming. Um, and you might be a little hesitant, right? She's a little hesitant. She's walking through the door. She doesn't know what is on the other side. Um, but the good news is that she has already manifested on this side, right? The grass is green on this side, too. So she's not running from anything. Um, I just feel like she may be a little apprehensive because it's something new. Um, because barriers are being lifted, right? This door is finally becoming unlocked, finally. Um, and she, she's like, okay, now what? Right? I'm going to walk through it, but I'm still a little bit hesitant. So the emotions that you are feeling. Next to the white card, right? Blank slate. Also, uh, mysticism, spirituality, manifesting. The universe got your back. So I feel like <clears throat> these are, <clears throat> excuse me, cosmic barriers being lifted. So it's like some stuff in the universe just kind of wouldn't go in your way no matter what you did. And now it's like the universe, like God is literally helping move these obstacles out of your way. Then you got the two circles pine. It's about contemplation, about strength, um, a young man. Um... Some of y'all could be receiving help from a younger uh, younger man um, in any form. Contemplation, right? So kind of, again, I feel like with... Okay, so the two is also the Libra number two. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra. Um, but I feel like with her facial expression and with his, there's some hesitancy, right? Because things have been so hard for so long that suddenly things are you know, going your way and barriers, like I said, are being lifted. Things are finally in motion and y'all kind of like, okay, hesitant about it. Because usually the pine, you know, he's contemplating, he's thinking about his moves before he makes them. He's drawn on his inner strength. But I feel like here and even wisdom, he might be overthinking it, to be honest, right? Like she's overthinking walking through this door. Let's clarify the entering card, please. Earth. Oh, there them threes go. Oh, yeah, entering again. <clears throat> so look at all these threes angel number three 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 look that up too right because two plus one equals three and you got a three there and then you got one plus two that's three and that together and then you got a three and a three okay so the earth card right about your environments your surroundings um this is clarifying the entering card but it's also underneath what did i tell you the abundance on her side so she is nervous she is wondering like because things have been rough for so long, she's wondering if this new door is legit, right? If this is not a trap door. If this door not, don't lead to nowhere. Um, if it's going to be a situation where it's like, I might as well should have just stayed where I was at. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, because she manifested where she was. It's abundant. The grass is green. She's elegantly dressed. Um, but now she has this new beginning that she's been wanting, right? She wants to walk through this door. Her, her hand is on the door, not herself. But she's like, it's been so rough that I'm like... Is it going to be worth it, right? I don't want to be disappointed. And that is what's being communicated here with this earth card, right? Because look, you have, it's kind of desolate, right? This is about your surroundings. Three, your creativity, 
angel numbers, the ascended masters, right? So the universe got your back. You may have not felt that honestly lately, but it does. In terms of your creative endeavors, what you're trying to start, you might be looking around like, uh, maybe I should just stay where I am, right? This isn't all the abundance that I want or I would have hoped for, but at least it's something, right? This is my little oasis. I don't know when I'm gonna see another tree, right? I don't know when I'll have shade in this desert, right? There are trees on the horizon and this is what the universe wants you to see. Like, look, if you get closer, you'll see that these trees are lush too, but you gotta leave the comfort of where you are, right, in your environment. Then you got the three bamboo toad, right? Talking about relationships. Overthinking, again, all of these characters are hesitant, right? They thinking, she got her arm on it, but she's not walking through the door. She's kind of peeking into it, and he's still thinking about this door, right? Um, the toad, his eyeball is looking in the opposite direction, right? It's looking back, right? At past traumas, at past dramas, right? At past trials, all of that, and it's like, uh, I'm nervous, right? It doesn't want to dive in. This could also be dealing with emotions, right? Some situations are signs that y'all don't want to deal with that relate to your emotions, right? Again, last week was like, control your emotions. So some of y'all still are hesitant to dive into the emotional depths that you are supposed to, right? That you were guided to dive into last week, right? Yes, this water is a little murky and yes, it is swirling and it's crazy, it's chaotic. That's what emotions are. But guess what? When you dive into them and you take that, head on right guess what happens to all these swirling waters they temporarily dissipate right they flatten out they smooth out right exact at the exact point where you dive in that was deep so don't be afraid of your emotions we got the full moon too don't be afraid of your emotions and also don't be afraid of taking on something too big because like i said earlier she's walking through doors but she already looks good right she's not impoverished she's not doing bad she's just stepping into something greater again with the toad and the entering and again her again i keep saying again <laughs> again um they're both hesitant so they're like um uh, maybe what i got right now maybe i should stay on land maybe i should stay where it's safe don't do that don't second guess yourself don't stay in the safetyness of where you are now right right maybe i'm doing too much right i got enough this is this is good enough right and it's like, no, it's not. That's why you want more. So don't be afraid of that. Don't second guess yourself or have, you know, low self-esteem or low confidence. White card. That went a little long. It's all good. Cards repeat. I'm happy because I said what I needed to say. All right. So to clarify the white card, interesting. We got the north. Distress, right? Isolation. Um, but it could be good isolation. Um cold weather kind of like things mental distress is usually or even like i said mental illness um but we have a guardian with this so that's beautiful and the sun just came out when i said that a little bit because it's raining actually so you could be stressed out i already told you that though no big deal because i already told you that overthinking it um isolating yourself Really, like, look at him. The pine is isolated as well. Really trying to figure this thing out. Is this what I even want now? Now that these doors are opening, I don't even know if this is what I want, right? I've been working so hard for so long, and now I'm seeing results, and I'm like, wait, is this even what I want? Yes, it is what you want, right? You just have been in survival mode for so long. Um, but the good news is that the, the fisherman is about abundance. It's about, uh, of course, marriage, regeneration. I feel like this is about your energy, though. I don't think this is about somebody else. This is about you basically getting back in the saddle. They are saying, use that same energy that you use to get to where you are now, right? With this extravagance with what you have manifested at this all the way up until this point, use that same energy, that same vigor, that same fervor to apply it to your new endeavors, right? The, the doors that you're trying to walk through, apply it to the other side of the fence as well. Don't get caught up in a lack mindset, right? So get back in the saddle. Know that your abundance is coming. Look, the fish came. Maybe it's not as big as he would have liked, but look, he has his arm out. He has an attitude of gratitude. He appreciates the fish for what it is, knowing that more will come. So do that. Fisherman is also about being patient. Two circles pine, again, in clarifying the white card, right? So you got these new beginnings. You have this cosmic assistance. Um, again, could be dealing with the Libra balance coming into your life right strength draw on your emotional strength draw on 
balance your emotions, right? Because last week it was saying, don't let them get out of control. You know, it's interfering with your money. But that's also not to say that you shouldn't feel them at all, right? That's not saying go around in a catatonic state. No. They're saying just balance them out. 10 10 just popped up. And I said that just balance all of that out, right? And think and take time to really make sure that this is what you want. I get a feeling this is what you want. You just second guessing yourself. But realize, take time to say, to meditate on it and be like, okay, yes. Getting back to it. See this regeneration. Getting back to who you are. Getting back to the original goal. Originally, this was what you wanted. So they just saying, remind yourself of that. Then you got the one bamboo peacock. Look at her. Mature. Wealth ex extravagant. Right? Peacock gets stuff done. She achieves stuff. Ultimately, this is this is you. You're achieving it. It's going to take some time. She's not a spring chicken. Ha <laughs> All pun intended. But look at what she has. She has more than, you know, even the pearl card, who's young and she's manifesting and she represents wealth. But so does the peacock, right? She just don't have her pearls cast at her feet. Ooh, to swine, right? She represents her wealth differently. This is hard-earned, long-earned, long-term wealth, right? Wealth accumulated over a period of time. Again, she maybe have some self-esteem issues because she's not looking in the mirror. Look, she's beautiful, carefully coiffed, has all this money, but again, she ain't looking in the mirror. She's not looking at herself. She's not looking at what she's already created for herself, right? And it's right underneath the entering card. So she's a little nervous. She's hesitant. I think also the message for this is that realize what you've already created. Realize that you are already doing an amazing job at whatever it is that you're doing, right? You've already created abundance. Look at the entering. Look at, look at them. So now you're getting more and you, you deserve more. Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Don't deflect your compliments. Like, oh, that's amazing. You're like, well, it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, it's okay. It was all right. No, take that. You did that. Okay, so we got, I'm clarifying the two circles pie. Why does this look so messy to me? And I don't like that. Okay. Um, you got the two bamboo duck. Um, a partnership, right? So earlier I said it was mainly you were focusing on yourself. Originally, I mean, eventually, it could lead to a partnership, right? After you get your mind right, he could be thinking about a partnership. So this, again, a partnership with Libra, a partnership with a younger guy. You could also be thinking about um, partnering with somebody to make some money right a business partnership like hmm i'm good on my own but um if i if i link with somebody else right also also could be a mentor a mentorship not necessarily romantic i'm not getting romantic but it could be because we have the 33 center card right so the center could be romantic right so the pine could be thinking of how he can take <sighs> i feel like the pine is trying to avoid dealing with some stuff I feel like the pine is just like, okay, I don't really want to deal with this new door, these new beginnings that are coming um, in terms of my career, finances, whatever. So I just want to be, I want to day drink. That's what he's doing about a partnership. So in addition to trying to manifest, well, actually walking through these new doors, some of y'all could be working on manifesting a partnership too. And it could be business or it also could be for romance as well, right? This also represents success. Everything is where you need it to be right just stay center card just stay where you are keep doing what you're doing then you got this underneath the pine card saints just stay everything is on target you know this reading is a little all over the place but that's how the energy go last card of the spread bam the south card success abundance right which is directly opposed to this earth card right where it looks like okay my environment is not that abundant what I see around me may not be what I think it is. South is like, yes, you're heading in the right direction. Right? Look at the, the abundance of the trees. Right? These trees are about to bear fruit, fruit in a minute. Happiness, joy. All of that comes as a result of your looking in the mirror. As a result of your claiming your power. As a result of your not being distracted or not focusing on lack. Or you're, you're not hesitating or not daydreaming too much. Right? Don't daydream too much. These are cards of action and gratitude. So even if it is a romantic partnership that you're thinking about, that you're trying to make happen, um, you got to go get it. 
this arrow had to be shot first, right? This didn't land on the tree on its own. And you will be successful in your projects and whatever you're working on. Angel number three, look that up. You got this, Earth signs. You got it. All right, so let's start with Virgo this week. I'm going to shuffle one more time. <laughs> Cancer season, I love it. All right, Virgos. Two circles fine. That would make three out of four of the fine cards that y'all got. Angel number 11, look it up, see if it resonates with you. It will, I'm, I know it will. So, <laughs> here... Virgos like to think. This is you, Virgo. You are thinking. You are contemplating your next move. My worry, my concern is that you might be overthinking this. That wouldn't be out of the ordinary because Virgo is ruled by Mercury, right? Um, so you might be overthinking this, Virgo. Just take action. Just do what you need to do to make this happen. Everything is going to go smoothly. Now is the time for you to just walk through the doors. You've already done all the hard work. You've already done it. Now is your time, Virgo. You just gotta walk through, you gotta do it. Yes, you have this, these carefully laid plans and everything has to be well thought out and make sure that your support system is there. You got it though. Just walk through it. Balance is coming into your life, Virgo, and possibly even a partnership. Right, so let's go with Capricorn. Ooh, Plum Blossom, interesting. Angel number 35. Look that up to see if it resonates with you. So Plum Blossom is a card of spring. Interesting because we just started the summer. So some of y'all could be focusing on the past. Some of y'all could have something new, something fresh um, that you're trying to blossom, right? Uh, <laughs> there's a bird taking a bath and a puddle next to me. I can't make this stuff up. Um, yeah. So maybe for you, like love. The Plum Blossom also represents young love. So remember we got the pine card a lot. So some of you may be in a situation where one partner is younger, significantly younger, or it could be a fresh romance, right? Um, things are in blossom. Things are in bloom, Capricorn. Things are getting better. That is your message. Like, look, this tree, it's small, it's skinny, right? It looks like it could break at any time. It's not, quote unquote, that attractive by itself, but look, things are starting to bloom. It is your time. You gotta walk through the door, Capricorn. Just do it. Look, the tree is the tree. The bird is gone now. It's now sitting on the fence, like shaking its tail feather. Literally, <laughs> so we can dry off. Oh, male cardinal bird. Okay, Capricorn. Last but not least, Taurus. Angel number thirty. Look it up, Taurus. See if it resonates. So West, you focused on somebody else. You focus on what you want to do. Taurus, I think y'all getting confused. I think y'all are focused. Y'all trying to insert somebody else into y'all plans. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea at this point. Because it's still stuff that you need to smooth over yourself. Um, but I feel like you need to focus on getting what you need to get done for yourself. Don't try to make this a team effort before you've done your part. Before you have clarified even what it is that you want to accomplish. Right? Usually Tauruses are very grounded, very balanced um, creatures, but at the same time, I feel like now you might be moving a little too fast and trying to incorporate somebody else. I'm not saying not to, just take the time out to cross all your T's and dot all your I's, right? Right? It's your dream. If it's your dream, let it be your dream. Don't try to impose it on somebody else, right? Especially if that ain't what they want. Okay, Earth Times. Thank you for listening. Have a great week. Peace out.